the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500. Here's my betting card. We're going to start with Austin Dillon to top 10 at plus 300. That can be found at DraftKings and points bet. Dillon may ha only have one top 10 over his last eight races, but he's ran pretty consistently at the similar tracks of Kansas, Charlotte, and Las Vegas this year, having an average finish of around 15th with a couple of finishes in 12th and 13th at those tracks. His worst finish is actually 14th at Texas over the last six trips here, and he won at this track back in 2020. For my outright pick of the race, I'm going with last year's winner and somebody that's trending upwards right now, Kyle Larson at plus 700, also at points bet. He absolutely dominated this race last year, leading over 75% of the laps, and although he hasn't looked like the same driver so far in 2022, he's coming around. He finished fifth last weekend in Bristol after leading over 30 laps there, and he's been super consistent at similar tracks all season. And my best bet for the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500 I'm going to go with William Byron at plus 100 to finish ahead of Martin Truex Jr. Outside of Christopher Bell, there is nobody driving better than William Byron right now. He finished the three playoff races in 8th, 6th, and 3rd last weekend in Bristol. He finished ahead of Party Marty in two of the three races in the first round. And he was the faster and better car all day at the All-Star Race in Texas earlier this season. If you want to tail any three of these bets or perhaps shop the entire market for the race, Make sure to hit the link in the description to find out about all the best sportsbook promos available to you. Good luck on all of your wagers for the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500, and I'll catch you next week as we head to Dega, baby, for the Yellowwood 500.